Hello everybody, welcome to my Aviation Nuggets for today. Your host is always Haysam Ali. You can find my Aviation Nuggets on YouTube. Keep in mind this is for training purposes only. It is not a formal training, it is a performance support tools. So always consult your formal manuals. So, today we'll speak about load shedding. Load shedding, this is a very popular term in chapter 24 of any aircraft. So what is meant by load shedding? This is the process of switching loads of the bus. Again, this is the process of switching loads of the bus. So sometimes we need to switch off some loads for the sake of other essential or emergency loads. This is for the safe operation of aircraft or safe landing of the aircraft. So in any aircraft, we have normal loads supplied by main bus and essential loads supplied by essential AC and DC bus and emergency loads supplied by battery bus. So there is like a hierarchy. The emergency loads is more important or are more important than essential loads. And the essential loads are more important and much needed more than the normal loads. Okay, so this is why. Because emergency loads are needed for safe landing of the aircraft. And essential loads are needed for continuous safe flight of the aircraft, continu continuous operation of the aircraft. But the normal loads will not affect the safe operation of the aircraft. Okay, everybody. We will give example about these loads very soon. Okay, everybody. So these loads are connected onto specific bus bars that fulfill a specific function. As we mentioned, normal loads connected to main bus, essential loads to essential bus, and the emergency loads to battery bus. Okay, everybody. So always there is a requirement, legal requirement, for a comprehensive approach to account for potential failures like generator failure or wiring failure. This is the this is what meant by or what is needed for the load shedding process. Load shedding process may be done automatically or manually by the pilots. Okay, everybody. So, the management of potential failures is addressed by categorizing the various loads. Categorizing the loads, or we give hierarchy to the loads. What loads are much needed? What loads are least needed? What loads are very important? What loads is not very important? So, again, the management of potential failures is addressed by categorizing the various loads and then disconnecting them in accordance with a predetermined sequence. Okay, everybody. So we can switch off normal loads for the sake of essential loads. And we can shed essential loads for the sake of emergency loads in case of failures. In case of failures. This is called the hierarchy. Categorizing the loads. Categorizing the loads or hierarchy of the loads. Okay, everybody. So we have, uh, or we hear about main bus, we hear about essential bus, and we hear about battery bus. Okay, everybody. So main bus is used to supply normal loads. Main bus, this is sometimes called the non-essential bus, or generator bus, or load bus. It will include loads such as galleys, in-flight entertainment, and the main cabin lights. So as you can see fro from these loads, it will not affect the safe operation of the aircraft. So these loads can be disconnected and isolated in flight without affecting the safe operation of the aircraft. Next, much higher rank is the essential bus, which is supply the essential loads. These loads are needed for the continuous safe operation of the aircraft. So that essential bus, sometimes called vital or safety bus. 
and as I told you, it will include equipment and instruments required for the continuous safe operation of the aircraft. So in case of a generator failure or wiring failure that affect the uh, uh, essential loads or this failure will be needed. Sorry, this failure, we need to shed some loads for the sake of safe landing of the aircraft. So essential loads may be shedded for the sake of emergency loads to give priority to emergency loads. So the very high rank is the battery bus and emergency loads. Battery bus or emergency load. So battery bus is sometimes called standby or emergency bus. It supplies the equipment required for the safe landing of the aircraft like radios, fuel control, landing gear, and fire protection. Thank you for your good listening, and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely, and don't forget to subscribe to my Aviation Nuggets on YouTube, and I will meet you very soon. Bye-bye.